Jordan in the front court. Jarvis Hayes, Kwame Brown, and Atan Thomas at the power forward. This will be the first time this year that Thomas and Kwame Brown have started a game together. Kwame with a big game when these two teams last met December 9th, as we told you at Indiana. A game high 17 points on six of eight shooting with seven rebounds. That easy finger roll, but too strong. Well, it's not as easy. But and that's... now, excuse me, Phil Kwame Brown will be whistled for a foul. I was going to say, that's the beauty of this game, uh, is that there's always tomorrow's game. Uh, Kwame Brown, a little smirk on his face. Kind of interesting. Uh, you talk about Aton and uh, Brian Grant looking alike. Uh, how about Kwame oh. and uh, Jermaine O'Neal? They look to me. They look exactly alike but with the headband and everything. Yeah. The hair pulled back, and they both have that kind of baby face. Yeah, and about the same size. Yep. Miller backs up off the screen. That's his shot, but he missed it. Oh. Kwame Brown. Was it Kwame that tipped it in? I think it was. He felt the presence of uh, Jermaine, I believe, on his. Kwame in the paint, takes the jump hook and misses. O'Neal the rebound. Ramona and the short jumper, and he finally missed. Wizard. Kwame with a tough left-handed shot, goes back up and scores. Oh, nice move. I like that whole sequence there. Box his man out. When they're fronting you, you box him out, accept the lob, and then go strong to the basket. Wizards by six. Kwame with two points and three rebounds. Hayes picks up his second personal. Kwame Brown fighting inside. Wizards tie their largest lead of six. Oh man, collision with Kwame and Johnson inside. Yeah, he just floored Anthony Johnson. Right, Kwame Brown sets a tremendous pick right there on Anthony Johnson. Just floors him, takes him out of the picture. So that's a pick and roll, an easy one. Kwame converts the left-handed shot. And this is a nice pass from Brendan Haywood only to have Jared have his shot rejected by one of the top shot blockers in the league. Fred Jones, 9-5. to five. Knight penetrates, lays it off for Kwame inside. Beautiful play. Set up by Brevin Knight and Kwame following the play. Going to may not be that tall, but he is every bit of the 250 they have him listed at. He's solid and he's physical. Kwame, yeah. great pass. Oh, beautiful pass. And Brevin holding his fingers. He, uh, when he came back after that timeout, saw him uh, holding his fingers. He's had problems with it the last couple of games. He jammed. He just has eyes all over the place. He's able to realize, recognize the openings. And that time, Kwame kept Al Harrington on his back to try to force the shot. Just got the ball to the open man. Wizards have led by as many as nine in this game. Up by five now. O'Neal blocked inside. And Knight saves him. I think here's that last block, and it was Kwame that came over from the weak side to help Baton out. Jumper, good. Put that ball down in the crowd. Eight points for Atan Thomas. O'Neal powers in on Kwame. That's partially blocked, and Atan is there. Side O'Neal. A thousand point. Christian Leitner in for the first time tonight after a big game. Kwame traveled, no call. Quarter Phil. Both nice. teams two for 10, I think, right? Wizards two for 11. Kwame, good move inside, draws a foul. Well, that's what Kwame is, uh, is doing that is helping him along in his progress. That is getting to the free throw line. He's not comfortable shooting outside jump shot. But he does have foot speed that enables him to get to the basket and then get to the free throw line. And he's been making his free throws. Fans, the Wizards are hosting a special Latin night when they take on the Suns Friday, January 30th. Here, come see your favorite Wizards. And don't Ticketmaster.com for tickets. What a terrific first half up off the bench. Oh. Kwame inside, fouled from behind, and again, Brevin Knight with a perfect feed to Kwame. You know, that's all Brevin is really thinking about doing in terms of generating and running this offense, looking to uh, responding well. Here, pick and roll. Watch Kwame roll to the basket in the 
in the direction of the ball, never turning his back to the ball. I think that's important when you run your pick and roll. And Three from the line has 10 points in the game. He'll have one more. Got it. Brings it. Down low on test. Blocked by Haywood. Hughes the other way. Larry finds Kwame and out night with Kwame inside. Up strong and off the glass. Boy, he had defenders flying by him at bo on both sides. 13 points for Kwame Brown, who had his career high against Milwaukee with 23 on January 4th. Seven rebounds for Kwame. Every time the Pacers have gotten close, Wizards have been able to extend the lead. Kwame inside, lost it, now goes up and is fouled, and he'll shoot two. You know, looking over some of the stats is an interesting one on Kwame, and uh, you talk about players coming off the bench. He's one of the leaders in non-starters going to the free throw line, and it just continues to repeat itself. He's putting himself in position in a scoring, and uh, Jermaine finally gets a field goal. Kwame makes the first free throw. He's four or five from the line. Gets them both, 15 points and eight rebounds for Kwame Brown. Kwame with a terrific game. He's five of eight from the floor, eight rebounds, two blocks, and 15 points. 8% uh, getting to the free throw line and converting both teams with three field, uh, three point field, field but uh, a lot more attempts coming from Indiana. Wizards by seven. They led by 12 a moment ago. And then Reggie hit a three. Wizards seven. Ouch. Al Harrington. And the lead is four. 19 for Harrington. And the momentum has turned as Indiana's on an 8-0 run. Kwame left open for the jump shot. That's a good shot coming from Kwame. O'Neal. Double team, nearly stolen, turn, shoots and misses. Tom. Kwame inside. Fouled as he goes up. He got good body angle at the basket. You know, that's the thing. You've got to use what you have, and Kwame has a beautiful body there. He's set almost seven feet, call him the list of 6'11, but about 245, 250. He's wide, but still quick. And if he gets down low, there's no way guys are going to strip the ball from behind him. He's showing good footwork, and he's finding his way to the free throw line. And the Wizards have made 11 free throws in a row. Hey, fans, the Wizards Crown Royal Suite, the perfect place to entertain your business clients, family, or friends, located on our exclusive Acela Club level. Ooh. Can accommodate up to 99 guests. And you can get it for six. Into Kwame again. Nice pass for Hughes, and he's fouled. Good look by Kwame. And, and he was really being pressured. Jermaine O'Neal all over him. I think there was another defender that was and trying to stick behind And he recognized that. And he saw the cutter. We'll get a good look. He good knew there yeah. was too much pressure on him, Phil, and wisely passed it off. Well, he's getting better and better at uh, delivering that pass from the low post position. You're right. Let's go. 14 to shoot. Nine to shoot. Inside Hughes. Oh, the glass. What a play. Once again, it's Kwame delivering the pass, but having heads up, staying cool and calm, delivered a beautiful pass to Larry. And how about the finish from Larry Hughes? Up in the air. But Kwame was so patient with that ball, just waiting. Wizards have committed just eight turnovers in the game. Kwame, short jumper. Shot. Under the conditions, this might be Kwame's best game this year. He's played judicious basketball, made good passes. How many assists does he have? Well, he's got 21 points, eight rebounds, and just the one, just the one assist, assist yes, which is hard to believe. Yeah. Nice jump hook in the middle. 
And he also has no turnovers. No turnovers for Kwame. Well, I think that's a key stat that we'll be talking about uh, for some time. Uh, the fact that they did a very good job throughout this game protecting the ball. Still got some time to play. Johnny chases it and gets it. Big rebound for the Wizards with 109 to play. Kwame well, one rebound away from another double-double. Blake goes inside for Kwame. Off the glass and in! Assist to Steve Blake. Nice finish from Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown has tied his career high with 23 points. Eight in the quarter. And these fans have come to their feet here in Washington. What a gutty effort by this beaten up Wizards team. Well, we said it was going to take a supreme effort to beat this team, the team with the best record in the league. They come off a loss last night at home against Houston. And uh, it was going to take good style inside play, limiting your turnovers. They had to score some points and shoot a good percentage. They did all those things. Kwame Brown getting the nice assist pass from Steve Blake, who continues to set his teammates up for assists, and Washington still in single-digit turnovers. Boy, Steve Blake has played a terrific game tonight. He they've got tremendous play from their point guards. I think both he and ten in the quarter, but two wizards. It's but a tough, tough choice. Look at those numbers. But it's still. a good one though. 23 points, nine rebounds, three blocks, and an assist for Kwame Brown. And the last time I heard you mention it, he had no turnovers. Is that still, still that's the case? correct? Uh, that's even better line. Boy, what a night for. The young man who got the start at center again. Wilson's open jumper good. Bragg's quickly to bring the ball in to Kwame, who's fouled, and he'll have a chance to set a new career high. Al Harrington picks up the personal. Boy, this has been, besides the Wizards look like they're coming away with this victory, been a heck of a game here. It really has, and, and what I really like about it is it seems like every time that Indiana has raised their level. The Wizards have seemed to stay right with them and raise their level as well. And uh, that's certainly a very positive note for tonight's game. Kwame, eight of nine from the free throw line tonight. He missed his first since then. He's nine for nine, and he has a new career high. 25 points for Kwame Brown. And the one of the best wins the Wizards have had in a long, long time, and the fans here at the phone booth appreciate it. Just one turnover in the fourth quarter for Washington, and what a victory this is as the Wizards improved to 13 and 29 and 9 and 10 here at home. Exciting game, and certainly the fans feel the same way. They're on their feet, giving an ovation to all of these guys, the effort that they gave. And let's hope, like we said, this is a string of uh, seven consecutive home games. Let's hope this is the beginning of something real good for them. Kwame Brown with a new career high, 25 points. Steve Blake did the job again. Off the bench, Larry Hughes, Brendan Haywood, Bill Chenier, our entire crew, statistician Paul Evans, stage manager Lori Green, Steve Buckhans. Once again, the Wizards a winner over the Pacers 107 to 96. We'll see you in the postgame show that's coming up next on Comcast Sportsnet.